Hello everybody, this is the Julie1241 from YouTube here. Now today I'll show you a video how to change the letters of your keyboard. I don't mean that you'll change the whole keyboard, but input of your text uh, in uh, your computer or whatever. So type the letter G for example in the keyboard, but in the screen it will be another letter. Um, today I'll stick with Albanian language for because I come from that count from Albania. So now let's go to the tutorial. So first of all, to change the language of your keyboard, what you want to do, you're going to click right click on the taskbar, go to two bars, and then click language bar. Now, when the language bar opens, I'll, I won't, you, would, you won't have it like this. So, you just click restore, uh, sorry. You go to settings, it will, be, it will be the language bar here. Go to settings, and then when you go to settings, you get text services and input languages. Now you get the, you you have the keyboard here, the default input language, but you don't want to use that. We will go to install services, and then you gotta select the service that you want to you want for each input language shown in the list and give the attribute button for the file, blah blah blah. So I have English for keyboard, the input is gonna be English, but today I'll add the uh, the Albanian. So in the here in the input language, you gotta click this button here, this uh, scroll down. Find your language here. Whatever language you are, I'm Albanian. Keyboard and layout, I am is gonna be Albanian because I wanna have the Albanian keyboard. Because if I if I say like I wanna have the Boston example, that will be different uh, different places of the letters. So I'll select Albanian, hit OK, and I have two keyboards, Alba one Albanian and one English. Click Apply and hit OK. Now it's disappearing. So right click again. No, no it disappeared. So right click it. And I'll select the restore the language bar. There you go here. I restored it so you can see it. Now you have the English United States here. What is the default right now? But I'll change it to Albanian. You have the the first two letters of your uh, country where you come from. English, EN, Albanian, will be say Shipria. So it's SQ. I'll select Albanian and to verify that this works, now this is the this is what you're gonna see at the beginning of the working when you select the toolbar. Uh, right click, hit new, and text document. New it whatever, it doesn't matter. And I'll say I'll type something that it is in the it isn't in the English keyboard or American keyboard, whatever. I'll double click it. It's gonna open the file right now for me. There we go here. Now these are the replacement for Albanian. The um, the square bracket actually is, is English. So you for every type of program you open, you gotta change. You see, the desktop is Albanian, but this program is English. So you gotta select Albanian manually. Let's see. The square bracket is gonna act like this letter. Which is called ch in my language, and the semicolon is gonna be uh, to capitalize it. Just tap, press Shift and the letter, you know, to make the letters bigger. There you go. But there will be a replacement for the letter. So you know, only two upper the two is the at sign. The at sign is gonna be somewhere around. There you go. It's the left. Uh, sorry, the, the right square bracket. So you tell every time you gotta discover the letters. Now one thing that I gotta remind you, Z is Y and Y is Z. It's like, you know, change their, their places. They said, come on, I don't wanna be here. You're gonna be there. I hate it. So thanks everybody for watching. This was my tutorial from now on. I'll make some kind of more tutorials because I like making tutorials. So that's it. But it was a it it is a very short tutorial, but I made it pretty big. So Anyway, bye-bye.